Our guest today is the host of Jeremy IT Labs. For those who are not familiar, it's a very popular IT YouTube channel. In this podcast episode, we will talk about IT career and certifications and his new book titled Acing the CCNA Exam. Here is the one and only Jeremy McDowell, also known as Jeremy's IT Lab. Welcome to Six Talk. Thank you, Dean. It's an honor to be here. Looking forward to it. All right. Now I'm here with Jeremy McDowell, and I would like to discuss this level of certification. So, Jeremy, what do you think of these companies introducing entry level certifications? And most of these are cybersecurity focused. And they just simply add networking topics. Now, take note of this. Cisco rebranded their entry-level certifications. It's now called CCST, or Cisco Certified Support Technician. And we have two tracks, networking and cybersecurity. Now, a lot of people doesn't know this. CCNA is not considered entry-level certification anymore. Okay, CCST is the entry-level. And um, CCNA is basically an associate level, which is above entry level. Again, what do you think of these companies introducing this new entry level certifications? Okay, so yeah, good question. I think um, there are a lot of those recently, a lot of new entry level certifications. And as you said, cybersecurity, but a lot of different fields of IT. Um, I think it's only natural that, you know, for a company to aim for the entry level market, um, I think in any industry, not just IT, there's always going to be more beginners than there are like experts or intermediates too, sort of like pyramid shaped, lots of beginners at the bottom and only a few experts at the top. So, you know, I think it's good for them to sort of aim for the entry level market. And, you know, cybersecurity is very hot right now. And I think it will be in the future. Um, you know, as the world gets more and more digital, more and more connected, um, basically everyone is on the internet now. Um, depending on which country you're in, but you know, all, all the companies are using the internet and networks, so we have to secure them. So cyber cybersecurity is very important, obviously. So um there is the problem though of with entry level certs, will recruiters and hiring managers actually look for these certs? Like will mm. they actually help you get a job? You know? Um so I'd say there are two main reasons to study for a certification. One is the resume boost. You know, of course. Um, if I have this cert on my resume, it'll help me get a job. The recruiters will search for this on LinkedIn or whatever. The hiring managers want me to have it. So that's one reason to get a cert. So in that regard, some of these entry-level certs, I don't know if they will be helpful or not. But in the second regard, just knowledge and skills, I think I'd say that's the main reason to study for a cert. Um, because as a beginner, um, you don't know what to study. Like, let's say you want to get into cybersecurity. You're like, okay, what should I study? I have no idea. There's like infinite number of things to learn, right? Yeah. So if a vendor, could be Cisco, could be someone else, they give you a cert, a uh, you know list of exam topics. They tell you, this is what you should study. Learn these topics, learn these skills. Um, here are some study materials you can use. Study with these. Um, it's really helpful as a beginner. So I think it's great that um, you know companies like, well, you mentioned Cisco. They released or they rebranded their uh, entry level stuff. Um, I think it's great that they have those options. You know, the name Cisco, being Cisco certified, is very valuable. Um, speaking of that first aspect, the resume boost. If you can say you're Cisco certified, that could help you get your first job or uh, maybe move up to your next job if you're already in IT. Um, yeah, I think it's great to have all of them. And you did also mention that the CCNA is not entry level, so I want to touch on that a little bit. Um, it is possible to get the CCNA as your first cert. That's what I did personally. Of but course. yeah, but it is a challenge. I will say that for sure. Like the CCNA is not an easy exam. It covers a lot of different topics. Some of it actually pretty in depth, like compared to other entry-level certs. So the new CCST, uh, networking and cybersecurity, I think are the two ones. Um, having those two options as like a first stepping stone to the CCNA, I think is really great because for a lot of people, the CCNA is a really big hurdle to jump over, like when they're first starting to get into the industry. 
So having the easier stepping stone in the CCST, I think is a great thing. All right. Yeah, I, I covered a lot, uh, covered a lot there, but um, yeah, I, I could ask you something. You mentioned a lot of entry-level certs, which cybersecurity ones are you talking about? Cause I know you're a, more of a security expert than I am. So which vendors are you referring to when you're talking about entry-level certs? All right, so Google released uh, this Google professional certification. It's really super basic. Okay. Uh, ISE squared, the creator of CISSP, they also re released this uh, very free um, entry-level cybersecurity certification. They called it Certified in Cybersecurity. Okay. And um, EC Council also released an entry-level, which is below CEH. They called it Certified oh, okay. Cybersecurity Technician. Yeah. Okay, and then we also have um, Cisco, which is CCSD. They are promoting their entry level, um, and many more. You know, these companies they are starting to release a beginner level certifications, and this is not very popular back then. Before CCNA, right? CCNA. Yeah, okay. yeah. Well, before they consider this entry level, but if you think about CCNA, there are more and more advanced top topics. They keep adding like. Python automation, SD WAN, yeah, yeah. Uh, security. Uh, for me, this was before CCNP level. If you think about it, mm. yeah, right? SD WANs, yeah, SDN in general, yeah, yeah. Compared to the old CCNA, it definitely is like, uh, yeah, very, more... very broad, and you have to really know some more advanced topics. Like in the past, automation was definitely not an entry level thing, but now yeah. you're expected to know it in the CCNA. So. That is definitely a big hurdle for a lot of uh, new students in the CCNA, for sure. Yeah. And I think Cisco, what they did for CCSD is actually a good move because there are many people will be, yeah, you are correct, big hurdle. And they may be overwhelmed on the topics covered in CCNA. Yeah. So yeah, um, sure. it depends how well-versed or knowledgeable you are in IT, but... I understand people will be hesitant to take CCNA right away. Um, yeah. People like us, most probably, oh, CCNA is more valuable. Let's go directly CCNA. But uh, I believe some people will say, hey, let's do this slowly. CCSD first, and then CCNA. Okay. Yeah. Um, and regarding the cybersecurity aspect, I'd like to hear your opinion on this because you're like a security expert. But my opinion from how I view it is, Cybersecurity in general, or at least in the past, I'm not sure about now, was not really an entry-level field. Like you'd have to get a few years experience in the field, maybe working on networks or servers or something, develop your knowledge and skills, and then maybe get into a security role securing those things. So what do you think about these like um, entry-level certs, like trying to get into cybersecurity right from the beginning? Do you think that's a good idea or not? Um, to be honest with you, I really agree like before you move to cybersecurity, you have to understand networking which is very basic right which is the yeah. core topic of cybersecurity. what else linux and yeah, uh, monitoring logging uh, you can add other devices such as ips ids firewalls iam aaa etc but i think it's all about business now since cybersecurity is the big boss word for the past five years or so and companies have this idea, if we release an entry-level beginner cybersecurity certifications, we'll get more money, we'll get more attention from the public, okay? And, and this is what's been happening now. Um, <laughs> and uh, I'm actually quite surprised, it's very effective. If you think about cybersecurity, good money, good pay, even if you are zero in uh, IT, in networking, in cybersecurity, people will get the attention, okay? Let's Try understanding cybersecurity, even for beginner uh, level certification. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it's good to see that you generally agree there. Um, I think to really secure networks or secure any system, you have to understand the system first, right? So yeah. if you don't know any networking, then it's going to be tough. But I do, I'm do. i sure that these entry-level certs do include networking in them. You mentioned that. So you know they do attempt to teach you these uh, fundamentals, or I hope they do. Mm. Uh, well, they do. It's just that sometimes it's not enough. 
Mm. So um, I'm still trying to do more research and as well taking those entry level certification and do a more detailed review about the exam. So um, more on this on other videos. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. I'll be looking forward to those. Um, that's the great thing about the CCNA is that it teaches you the network fundamentals, but then you also have to be able to apply them to network devices. And I think that'll really help uh, deepen your understanding of networks in general. Okay, great.